Arena. Image of Aliens. And I go Siege Tower with discount. Well, Burmese ain't too bad. I'm gonna go full Monk Rush. Sell my stone. Actually, I guess the problem with that is maybe he will do Quay Post defense. People dissed my assessment that the win strat was to go at Atlas Grams against Bohemians. People are stupid. Mm -mm -mm. Bulgarians. Don't have too many other cool things, but full monks should be pretty cool. Or good, good approach, potentially. Not necessarily as cheap upgrades on the scouts. Or forging. It's fine, it's fine. We'll still do it. We get attack, bonus attack on our sp spears. Since you said you don't use build orders, I've stopped using them and thinking more, and I've risen to 1500 elo now. Thanks for great content. Damn, that's a really solid. Well, I don't know what you started at. If you were like 1490 and you're risen to 1500, that's obviously not that crazy. But again, I, I mean, I don't think build orders are bad. <laughs> I just don't use them because I, I think, I feel like uh, the RNG in the map spawn and such can be um, having an impact to the point where you cannot follow build orders blindly. But I still think it's good to know build orders. You know? I mean, I obviously know build orders. I know the order of things. I just don't actively use them. Because I, I mean, I feel like I have plenty of experience to adapt to what's in front of me. Uh, I still, like I said, I still think it's healthy to know build orders. <laughs> that's my point. We started at 30 and 50. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Congrats on your uh, improvement. May it long continue. It is good to be flexible. Exactly. Ooh, house. Is it more fail on Arena if you guess wrong enemy strat? It can be, yeah, because Arena can have a lot of strategy wins. Like someone goes cast drop against one guy that is like forward cast against a guy that is just booming. Yeah, you might be dead. If you go full monks against a guy that is already going light cav, well, you might be dead. Uh, like, part of it is guessing and kind of like it's definitely some risk management when it comes to picking a strategy on arena but it also can be like you can you can analyze your save matchup and come up with a good approach still but yes picking the wrong strategy can definitely be more fatal Uh, since you got the map pool initiative, I have fallen from 1250 to 90, 1090 because they're open maps. Sorry. Well, now you have Hera's map pool, right? Don't think that's that has many more open maps, but please, I'm not to blame anymore. Kind of, hopefully. The board didn't follow. I hope you love you, bro. Thank you, Andrew. Can't rip, rip, rip. What's it called when you return? Repress it? Rip. Don't know the word. I don't remember the word. Can't rip, reproxicate it. Don't tell me the word. Yeah, the, the like I did the map pool, last map pool, then Hera has done the one that is currently. Reciprocate, reciprocate, reciprocate. I can't reciprocate the love because I don't know you. 
I appreciate it. Re reciprocate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, where's my main gold? Wait, what? How is my main gold further than my not main gold? That was weird, man. I've never had that before. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully be faster to feudal than him. So I'm still gonna keep him within an arm's length. If possible. He might not expect me to have this fast of an uptime. Then again, if he's going fast, do like real fast fuel as well, then I'm in trouble potentially. You regret your decision? Do you? <laughs> you fool. Eight wills. Let's do nine on wood. Eight might be fine though. We'll just know this love comes from your football team. From near your football team. Well, just know this love comes from your football team. What do you mean by near? That sounds like it could be Liverpool. And things like, or Manchester City. Unless you just live in Manchester. For example. We're going to see our Rambai. Uh, very unlikely. What's the plan? Very YOLO. Monk Rush. Relic spawn is actually insanely in favor of me. I think all relics except the middle one is in favor of me. And the middle one is like 50-50. So it's, it's a really unfair relic spawn with that in mind. Nine on gold. Are we happy with that? Not sure. Guess you want to push from the middle. The bills are. Oh, what's this stone? Stone or gold? It's gold. It's really nice to get the wood upgrade for free here. Finally catching Viper Live, hello from China, hello to be fair. Glad you're able to catch it live. Let's just do a Sanctity right away. Right off the bat. Okay, 
Alright. Let the YOLO begin. House. Bengamel? Sheesh. I was not ready for that. Okay, so we need redemption. Confirmed. He has the light cap upgrade. I only have one on food. Oh boy. There's gonna be a lot of light cap coming here soon. I tell ya. I tell ya. But imagine he is relatively prepared for this. Right? Maybe he's already got stone for a crap post. I should maybe have converted his seed workshop. Yeah, why not? This is stone mining though, I should have checked that earlier. He's doing Krapos there. Convert! Woo. I got a lot of light caps suddenly. Seven light cap, let's go! <laughs> More buildings? I could have, but I want to. It's like there, there's where you have to make the decision, right? If you con if I convert this, which I did, it means I have one less monk to convert light cap as well. So, in some ways, it's like mm, I might get the seed workshop, but the second way is, hmm, I won't be able to convert another light cap. Hey. This is cloud mode activated. It's how brutal it can be. So we have five monks left over, seven light cap, we still have five spears, we have a seed battering ram, we have a mangonel, we have multiple. Um we have two seed workshops. What I find interesting here is he went he didn't have a market, right? He went blacksmith stable, which kinda makes sense with Bulgarian, so you can get the cheap upgrades. But it also means he cannot use the market to balance his economy. Which I think he would need at this point. Maybe to buy a crap post or something like that. 